Hello, Horology fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to talk about transaction logs, specifically registry transaction logs. Now, we're going to look at a uh, registry hive in the user's folder. So we're in user LW, and in the directory, we see ntuser.dat, which we know to be a specific user's hive for the registry. But then we see this .log1 and .log2 file. And if you go look in, in where the re rest of the registry hives live, you're also going to see a .log1 and .log2 for each of the others, like system and software, for example. Now, what are these? Well, these log1 and log2 files are transaction logs. And the idea behind these transaction logs is that they're a cache location for changes to a specific registry key. Instead of committing that write to the registry immediately, in order to be more efficient, it writes these instructions to these transaction logs. And there's various times when these transaction logs will get committed to the key itself. So now if we go into Registry Explorer, uh, we can see that when we want to load a hive, let's load our NT user hive. We're going to see it ask us, hey, do you want to load the, uh, the transaction logs? Because you've got a dirty hive. In other words, this hive, there's more information in these uh, uh, transaction logs that hasn't been committed to the key yet. If you miss the data in these transaction logs, you're going to miss information. Do you want us to put the data from the transaction logs into the hive? That's what this is asking. So of course I do. So now it's going to show me these transaction logs. Again, I'm doing NT user, so I'm going to grab the log one and log two files for NT user, and I say, okay, it has been replayed. The transaction logs have been replayed. So now where do we want to save this new transaction log? Well, I'm going to put it uh, just back where the rest of my hives are. And now it tells us that it was successful. Do I want to load the updated hive? Well, of course. Do I want to load the dirty hive? No. Why would it even ask me that? Well, what if I want to compare uh, uh, the clean one to the dirty one to see the changes that are just in a transaction log? That might be useful. Anyway, once it loads, we have the most up-to-date and relevant data in that hive. So many registry tools don't even take into consideration these transaction logs. You get just what's in ntuser.dat and not the transaction logs. So Registry Explorer has put this in there for us to see. And in many of his other tools, it does this automatically in the background. In Registry Explorer, Eric has forced us into seeing it just so we can learn about it. That's how we all get better. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of three minutes max.